everybody, today I'm going to be reviewing the Bissell Power Force Compact and I'm going and it's and let me see how what it is. It's pretty lightweight. I can I can carry it for a pretty long time. See? And it's not cordless. See it has a cord and I just don't like it. it has such a short hose. It just has such a short hose. So now um, I'm going to show you all the features and functions. So this is the so this is the bottom of the vacuum, and see it says like if it's on camera, it says Bissell here and here. So there's just two Bissells I know of. Um, and there is us, and these, and there's us, and and it's pretty cool. Um, it's pretty designed good here. It looks, it look, it, it's like um, little carvings with like little um, shapes in them, and and it has a re it has like a thing here in between them, and they all kind of slide down into the area is pretty cool too and these two things are are kind of slidey too and and there's and there's and and on the back of the cleaner there is this blue switch this will recline the vacuum which I'm going to be using and this turns on the vacuum which you know I'm going to be using this this well, this is the main power switch that will that turns the machine on and off when it's plugged in, and and now I'm going to lay it down and we'll see the bottom. There's two little mini wheels here that help, and these big wheels are pretty much the main wheels, and then. And then this whole part here is blue. And it's kind of old. I, I, I think it uh, I think it was unboxed sometime in January of this year. The brush will, will spin. It is kind of hairy. Is that beta brushes? I don't know. I don't know if it has beta brushes or not. Um, and, 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 and now I'm going to lay it up higher, and, and now, and these are the attachments, a dusting brush that really gets a big thing into your, um, upholstery, no, um, upholstery tool with this, um, but this is like the upholstery tool, just a dusting brush, though which fits onto the short hose, which I mentioned earlier. And next up is the crevice tool, which is kind of some to get off. I have to like wiggle it and then pull it off. And it's it has a bigger opening than, than, than most crevice tools, but, and it's obvious, I forgot to tell you, it's $40. Um, and there's this little rim here. I don't. I think that's to seal it or something. And then, and then, and then there's the little hole there. So that those are the tools. Now let's turn it around. And there's a little. And this is the. Sh and now and get the cord out of the way. So this is the cord. You can turn out that hook, and then you can remove the cord a lot easier and then here's the hose i know it's very short but it is stretchable let me see how long it reaches yes it is pretty short it is really short i told you it's short and so that's that and that and when you when you're using it like this, it will 
the the dirt will stuck up here, come out of there, and it will go through the hose. The and then it will go in the canister. That's how this works. You can obviously see it when you lay it down again. See that there it is, the pipe. <clears throat> Come out about that. Um, so this is where the core comes out. And now this now I'm going to show you the bin. But just this blue button here you have to use. Just press that and the bin will come off. What's really funny about this is this is with most shark vacuums. This really, this way of um, emptying the stuff is not only with shark vacuums, but you press this and the door goes out and the door opens so all the dirt falls out. And that's normally with the shark vacuum. And this is not a shark vacuum, but it actually has a square opening where the stuff goes in. See, there's a square thing there and a square thing there. And, and now, time to put that back in and get up here. And all there really is up here is this hole. Where, the handle is actually the extension wand for this, but the only exciting thing here is the release, handle release. And now you... Now, now you take out the handle and get the hose out, and then you can, and you can, lock, and and now you can use this, or you can also put on the crevice tool, or the upholstery tool. Oops. So, that's that. So. I've um the the mess has been down this whole time, so I bet it's time to start doing that. So I put down. So this is the dirt we have. It's the hole punches that are pink, blue, and white. So now I'm going to use the blue switch, climb the handle, and turn it on. <laughs> right now and and it's done a pretty good job there's just these actually four just these ones that missed they stick to my hands so so now I'm going to clean the rest of this up so get ready <laughs> So we have all the stuff, so we have the hard floor stuff down, and now I'm going to press the blue switch, and, and, and now I'm going to turn it on. <laughs> did not a not a punch so now I'm going to clean up the rest of this Ooh. 
Oops. I I um hit the di the red thing as I was behind it. <laughs> off here. Uh. Again. So thanks for watching this video. I hope you really enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. I'll see you soon. Bye bye.